It's Monday, October 7th, 2024, and I'm Dave Sobel. Three things to know today. U.S. labor market is resilient, but SMBs are facing hiring challenges. Data center spending surges 30% as enterprises balance AI growth with cloud and on-prem strategies. And as boomers sell, millennials acquire. IT service providers can capitalize on the coming ownership shift. This is the business of tech. Friday saw the release of the September jobs report, which indicates a strong U.S. labor market, with employers adding 254,000 jobs in September and a drop in the unemployment rate to 4.1%. This data alleviates recession fears and suggests the job market remains resilient. However, the robust job growth may delay aggressive rate cuts from the Federal Reserve as wage gains also exceeded expectations, raising concerns about inflation. The next jobs report, due November 1st, could be influenced by external factors like the Boeing strike and Hurricane Helene. Looking at the S&B data in the September jobs report indicates a decline in small business job openings, with 34% of owners unable to fill positions, the lowest since January 2021. Hiring attempts decreased to 59%, with 52% reporting few or no qualified applicants. Job openings fell notably in construction, while a net 15% plan to create new jobs soon. Despite challenges in finding qualified workers, 32% reported rising compensation, although this is the lowest since April 2021. Labor quality concerns decreased to 17%, while labor costs remain stable. Looking at the data, From an IT employment perspective, the market showed signs of recovery in September 2024, with the unemployment rate for IT falling to 2.5% and the addition of 118,000 new tech positions. Companies are increasingly focused on hiring talent for AI-related roles, driven by the need to innovate and deploy AI at scale. Jobs postings for tech positions rose to over 516,000, with a notable increase in roles not requiring a four-year degree. The current labor market is characterized by a slowdown in hiring and low layoffs, creating a no-hire, no-fire environment where job seekers face stiff competition and are less likely to quit. The hiring rate has fallen to its lowest since 2013, while layoffs remain at a historic low. The sixth annual International Innovation Barometer by Aming reveals that 86% of global businesses now allocate specific budgets for AI R&D, with 84% believing AI positively impacts innovation. A significant 41% have restructured R&D teams for AI integration, highlighting a shift in innovation priorities. AI is increasingly viewed as a catalyst for collaboration and creativity, with 53% using it for data analysis and 39% for idea generation. Integris's report on U.S. banks' IT spending in 2025 reveals a significant increase in IT budget awareness among bank executives, with 24% able to estimate their budgets, up from 6% in 2023. Despite economic concerns, many banks plan to raise IT budgets by at least 10%. Key priorities include cybersecurity, data analytics, and digital transformation. While satisfaction with IT services has improved, 74% of banks still see room for enhancement, highlighting the need for continued investment in IT to boost operational efficiency and customer experience. And Constant Contact's Small Business Now report reveals that 89% of small businesses globally are affected by inflation ahead of the 2024 holiday season, with 52% of consumers reducing spending at these businesses. Many SMBs are adjusting marketing strategies, with 46% cutting expenses and 39% raising prices. The report highlights the importance of early holiday planning, as 42% of small businesses wait until October or later to prepare. Key strategies for success include improving efficiency, offering promotions, and utilizing social media and email marketing. Now, why do we care? Small businesses are struggling to fill positions, with hiring attempts decreasing and a marked decline in job openings. This suggests two key things for IT service providers. First, SMBs are having trouble finding workers, which likely increases their reliance on technology to maintain operations. Solutions like automation, AI-driven tools, and managed services can help fill these labor gaps, making IT services providers more critical to their operations. 
while the broader economy shows strength, SMBs might tighten their budgets, focusing on essential expenditures. IT providers need to align their offerings around cost-saving technology or ROI-driven solutions to appeal to these cautious business owners. They could position themselves as problem solvers, offering tools that increase efficiency with fewer employees. And some data around IT spend. Data center spending is surging as enterprises adopt AI and cloud providers expand their capacity, with capital expenditures on cloud infrastructure increasing by 38% year over year in the first half of 2024. Infrastructure investments are expected to exceed $400 billion this year, driven by demand for AI-optimized servers. The balance between data centers and cloud services is shifting, with data center spending growing 30% year over year outpacing cloud services revenue growth. Major hyperscalers like AWS, Microsoft, and Google are heavily investing in infrastructure to support AI workloads, contributing to a significant increase in compute capacity and future data center projects. Over in the information age, I spotted two data points. A recent study by Citrix suggests 25% of UK organizations and 42% of US firms are either considering moving or have already migrated at least half of their cloud-based workloads out of a hyperscale public cloud platform back to on-premises infrastructures. Another report by Flexera finds that 89% of companies are now following a multi-cloud strategy, making use of public and private clouds, or a hybrid of the two. Research by Agilitas reveals that IT channel leaders are optimistic about forming collaborative partnerships as the industry shifts toward a service-based model. Key priorities include enhancing customer experience, with 85% of businesses prioritizing this, and a focus on sustainability. The report indicates a strong confidence in balancing social issues with profit, particularly among managed services providers and value-added resellers. And a survey from Rocket Software and Forrester Consulting found IT leaders are wary of the potential risks of IT overhaul programs, with one-third believing they are highly disruptive to operations. Common roadblocks encountered during modernization projects often lead to reduced productivity, but there are broader considerations at play per the study. Some of the most common hurdles faced by IT leaders include costly and time-consuming application rewrite projects. Just over half at 51% of respondents admitted to having attempted at least six rewrite projects as part of a cloud migration strategy. Why do we care? With capital expenditures on cloud infrastructure increasing by 38% and data center spending growing faster than cloud services revenue, IT services providers can benefit by focusing on infrastructure solutions, whether in data centers or cloud architectures. This is especially critical as companies look to balance between on-prem and cloud solutions. IT providers should step in as strategic partners, offering modernization services that focus on minimizing disruption and providing clear paths to ROI. Incremental cloud migration, hybrid strategies, and reducing the need for costly application rewrites will be important selling points. Business Insider had an article highlighting how boomers are selling their small businesses as they retire, presenting a $10 trillion opportunity for millennials. Many millennials are interested in acquiring existing businesses as a pathway to wealth building, especially in a challenging housing market. While the process can be complex, with fewer than a quarter of listed businesses selling each year, those who successfully navigate the acquisition can benefit from established brands, and customer bases. The trend reflects a shift in ownership dynamics, as many younger potential successors are not interested in taking over family businesses, leading to a growth market for millennial buyers. Why do we care? So this is an interesting opportunity and a trend to be aware of. First, for IT services organizations, as millennials seek to acquire established businesses, they will likely look to modernize and digitize operations to compete in a tech-driven economy. Many boomer-run businesses may have outdated technology, minimal online presence, or inefficient IT services and systems. For IT service providers, this presents an immense opportunity for IT providers to offer modernization, automation, and digital transformation services. Second, for younger owners, there's an acquisition strategy of finding older companies to acquire as those owners look to retire. 
looking to reach an audience of thousands of MSPs and IT service providers? Put your ad right here on the Business of Tech and be on the show that 64% of MSPs report having listened to. A recurring top 50 tech news podcast, there are affordable options for you to reach our audience and we can support any budget. Podcast listeners are more engaged, have a higher level of brand retention, and are more willing to listen to ads here than any other avenues. Want to know more? There's information at mspradio.com slash engage, including a button to book a time to talk. I'm looking forward to that discussion. Thanks for listening. Today is National Forgiveness and Happiness Day, as well as National Frappe Day, so you know what the gift is. I'll be doing two live broadcasts as part of SMB Tech Fest on October 17th and 18th, so make sure to sign up and join the event. smbtechfest.com slash go slash Sobel. Link in the show notes. And if you have a question you want answered, I take those listener questions. Send them in, ideally as a voice memo or video, to question at mspradio.com. I answer listener questions live each week on our Wednesday live show on YouTube and LinkedIn, this week, 3 p.m. Eastern. Got a comment or a thought on a story? Put it in the comments if you're on YouTube or reach out on LinkedIn if you're listening to the podcast. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. The Business of Tech is written and produced by me, Dave Sobel, under ethics guidelines posted at businessof.tech. If you like the content, please make sure to hit that like button, follow, or subscribe. It's free and easy and the best way to support the show and help us grow. You can also check out our Patreon, where you can join the Business of Tech community at patreon.com slash MSP Radio, or buy our Why Do We Care merch at businessof.tech. Finally, if you're interested in advertising on the show, visit mspradio.com slash engage. Once again, thanks for listening to me, and I will talk to you again on our next episode of the Business of Tech. Part of the MSP Radio Network.